Hi everyone, my name is Pavitra V, Department of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss a topic called Kinetics of Fast Reactions and Techniques. Basically, when we mix two reactants, it will form products through an equilibrium position if it is a reversible reaction. But in the case of fast reactions, it attains equilibrium position at very fast rate that is within 10 seconds. So in this case, we require some special techniques to study the kinetics of the reactions. So kinetics is nothing but we are studying the change in concentration of reactants with respect to time. So time factor is very important in kinetics. So fast reactions are nothing but which will attain the equilibrium with a few seconds. These are called fast reactions. The reasons for inability are as follows. The first one is the time it takes to make a measurement of concentration may be significant as compared to its half-life. And the second point is the time it takes to mix the reactants or to bring them to a desired temperature may be significant as compared to the half-life of the reaction. An appreciable error creeps in, in because the initial time cannot be accurately determined. So thus we need some of the techniques to study the fast reactions. We have so many experimental methods for fast reaction. In that first one is stopped flow method. The word is telling itself we are stopping the flow of reactants in order to study the rate of reaction. So here this, the apparatus setup is as shown in the figure. So we have a two pistons in which the reactants are uh, mixed, so added. So this is the mixing chamber at which the reactants are mixed. These are the spectrophoto spectrometers which will record the readings. And this is a stopping syringe which stops the movement of reactants at a particular volume. The two solutions are mixed very rapidly by injecting them into a tangential mixing chamber. So beyond the mixing chamber, there is an observ observation cell fitted with a stopping syringe. So this is the stopping syringe where a required volume that is at a time we are adding 1 ml of a reactants has been injected into the mixing chamber. The reaction continues in the thoroughly mixed solution and it is monitored and we can study the rate of reaction of this fast reactions. So this is stopped flow method. The second method is flash photolysis. Here we have an initiator and an analysis chambers. So here we have a two flash lamps. This is the analyzing flash lamp and this is the simple cell in which this is the flash lamp and this is spectrophotometer which is required to measure the reaction and this is the controller. There are two flash lamps here we are using. The larger one above the reaction tube photo dissociated a molecule to produce a reactant. So the concentration of which could be followed by looking for the absorption from light produced by the second flash lamp on the left. By varying the delayed, delayed between the first that is the initiation and the second that is the analysis flash lamps, one can follow the course of a reaction over a period of a short as 10 milliseconds. So the reaction may be studied in the time interval of 10 milliseconds. So nowadays we are replacing this flash lamps with the lasers to get a accurate results but the principle will be same. The next method is chemical relaxation method. In this we generally chemical equilibrium is perturbed by a rapid change in one of several possible external parameters like electric field intensity, temperature and pressure. The equilibrium process is then followed by spectrophotometric or conductophotometric methods. So here we are just concentrating on the color change during the reaction or the conductance that is the mobility of ions and number of ions produced in the reaction. So this is the chemical relaxation method. So here we have two types, two types temperature jump method that and pressure jump method. So here we are just determining the relaxation time during the reaction when a reactants are added. 
in the chemical relaxation method the first method is temperature jump method the a uh, temperature change of several degrees that is 10 degree celsius in 10 power minus 5 seconds that is a very rapid increase in the temperature is created by a discharge of high voltage condenser through a small quantity of a solution so then the time dependence of concentrations is followed by the absor adsorption spectrophoto spectroscopy this is absorption spectroscopy so by this we are calculating what will be the change in the reaction or a reaction mixture when sudden increase of 10 degree celsius takes place in 10 power minus 5 seconds a temperature range of 1 degree centigrade has been found to change the equilibrium concentration by about 3 percent it is an average determination of temperature jump method so the next one is pressure jump method it involves a sudden and rapid change of pressure to displace the equilibrium so already the equilibrium has been attained by uh, we will we are changing that equilibrium with a pressure parameter the sensitivity of a reaction to pressure depends on the change in volume that is delta v and is represented quantitatively by the equation del ln k divided by del p with respect to temperature will be equal to negative of change in volume that is delta v divided by r into t r is gas constant and t is the temperature so this is the equation for pressure jump method so in the relaxation uh, method we have two types that is based on the pressure and based on temperature change by this we can determine the or we can study the kinetics of fast reactions.